have no shortage of scenes worth capturing here in South Mississippi and over the next month a photographer and artist are collaborating to give you a glimpse into the coast life one picture at a time. Most of the inspiration in this room is from a coastal perspective. In fact, I even named one of my pieces Coastal Life. When Jeff Baldock retired nine years ago, he discovered his true passion of photography. As you can see with the Glenn Sweatman here, I shoot all hours of the day and night. When you see something that catches your eye, why do you want to capture it? Well, the funny thing is, is I've never owned a boat in my life and I love shooting shrimp boats. These beautiful boats, they are part of our history here on the coast. This looks like a painting, how do you do that? And that's why I'm in art gallery. I've had so many people say, that's a photograph? So the technique is, is uh, it's called bracketing on your DSL camera, and so when you click your shutter, you're actually taking anywhere from three to seven pictures at the same time. A good example, this one right here, you'd never believe that, uh, this one looks like a pencil drawing. In September, Baldock's work is on display at Gallery 782 in Biloxi. Tatiana Mueller is also taking part in the Coastal Life exhibit. So this pelican is, uh, she's the queen of the bay. Among the techniques Mueller uses to capture her coastal scenes includes batik, which she says is rare for American artists. I paint with watercolor. Um, I do it for uh, rice papers you see here. Mueller is from Ukraine. She's lived on the Mississippi coast for the last eight years. Her parents now stay with her after escaping from the war zone in the last year. Mueller uses her art to help ease the stress of thinking about what's happening in her home country. It's awful, of course, to understand what's going on at, in Ukraine because a lot of my relatives, they struggle now and I just pray uh, know this war to be uh, finished. After moving here, Mueller felt an instant connection since she grew up in a coastal area of Ukraine. I just liked uh, the smell of uh, salty water and uh, those birds. So when I came here, I just realized that it's a piece of my uh, like memory of my motherland. So for me, it was very important to do something that connected me with my memories. It's memories of life on the coast now captured for others to enjoy in Mueller's art and Baldock's photographs. All right, so for the next month, you can see those works of art there at the gallery in Biloxi, but they're also on display at different places throughout the coast. And also, Mueller says she is donating a portion of her art sales to the Ukrainian defense effort. So certainly uh, a mission close to her heart. And those are some amazing photos. They really are, yeah. Too. Beautiful.